Um, yeah, my name is Steven. I work at Risk Zero as a head of strategy. Um, and today we basically want to talk about like the future of scaling and more specifically, like what do recent advancements in ZK mean for the future of multi-chain scaling? Cool. Um, so like just a quick overview of how we've scaled Ethereum in the past. Um, this is kind of how we've approached scaling for the past five years, right? Ethereum is naturally limited in functionality and performance because of consensus. And this is just an issue that distributed networks have. Um, to counteract this, right, Ethereum's performance is like 5,000 to 10,000 times slower than your phone. And we've basically built a bunch of rollups on top of Ethereum to solve this problem. Um, those include Optimism, Arbitrum, ZK Sync, et cetera. They all have slightly lower gas fees and slightly more TPS. Um, on the functionality side of things, op, uh, Ethereum uses EVM, which is also a really restrictive and weird virtual machine because it's like custom built for a consensus. And subsequently, it's quite difficult for developers to use that. There have been quite a few alternatives, like Solana's built SVM, MoveVM, at Risk Zero, we've built Risk Five uh, VM, and then Arbitrum has some sort of stylist thing, which enables developers to code in Rust. But like basically what I just mentioned is how we've thought about scaling, but now given improvements in the ZK space, um, what does the ZK future look like? So today I kind of wanted to talk about this idea of a ZK coprocessor. I think we constantly hear this term thrown around, but like what exactly is a ZK coprocessor? Um, to figure that out, we can go on Google and search up what is a coprocessor. A coprocessor is a pro processor designed to supplement the capabilities of a primary processor. That doesn't tell us much, but we can make some inferences here. Um, the primary processor in this case is likely Ethereum or any other base layer. And how have we been supplementing the capabilities of a primary processor? Via rollups, right? Rollups are built to supplement the capabilities, the performance, the functionality of Ethereum. And in some ways, we might think of rollups, therefore, as coprocessors. So because of that, maybe like let's start thinking about ZK coprocessors as a larger generalization of the rollup and scaling framework. Uh, we have ZK rollups as part of coprocessors. We also have plasmas and validiums. And there's also something new that we can really develop thanks to advancements in ZK tech. So like what else is a ZK coprocessor? What else have we been able to build thanks to ZK? Um, instead of limiting ourselves to building blockchains on top of blockchains, which is how layer twos and layers three works, um, what if we enshrine use uh, enshrine ZK and take advantage of the benefits of verifiable computes. Then we can take a more modular approach to scaling. We can actually break away and break down rollups into even more pieces. Um, traditionally, we've broken away things like DA, but what about breaking away things like consensus or breaking away states? Um, this is all actually possible if you build around this new ZK coprocessor architecture. And, and the dream here is like we're basically building a more flexible and dynamic solution space. Because um, if I'm a DeFi app, why do I want to build an entire rollup or app chain uh, and lose all the liquidity of Ethereum layer one? So um, yeah, to look at this in more detail on, on how we're going to do this new breakdown, on the left here, you basically have how layer twos have looked like for the past five years, right? The layer two has states. It has blocks, it has sequencing, a centralized sequencer, and it has the, the VM or the execution layer. And then Ethereum handles settlement data availability consensus. Um, this is like basically what ZK Sync or Optimism are. And then on the right here, this is where rollups are slowly trending towards, where the DA is split off. Um, the DA goes to Celestia. And also the settlement layer can be things like Bitcoin or Solana. And this is thanks to like multi-chain ZK verifiability. Um, Bitcoin, in this case, you can basically verify a ZK rollups proof via BitVM. It's still very early stages, but hopefully by the end of the year, this is um, production ready. So the, the new architecture I kind of want us to think about is one where we, we move state and sequencing away from the rollup, away from the coprocessor. So what we're left with is just the execution layer for the coprocessor. What this might look practically for a transaction is the state in this case, A equals one and B equals one, continues to live on Ethereum. Ethereum will send this request to the coprocessor, which will do the math, do arbitrary computes. 
and then the proof will be submitted back to Ethereum for verification. And this will act as a transaction, in which case Ethereum will do the sequencing through the mempool. Like the key here is because the state remains on Ethereum, you can tap into Ethereum liquidity while still taking advantage of ZK scaling. I can theoretically do any sort of compute as complex as I want at the coprocessor level, while my states, my account balances, my liquidity pools, my order books, everything still can remain on Ethereum. So basically, because ZK acts as a universal language that can bridge like DA, consensus, state, et cetera, between chains, we can give, it gives us a lot of modularity across the stack. So now like the coprocessor with a roll up is broken down into separate pieces like sequencing, like state, and you can really move this around the stack, really move these and like select different solutions for each different sector. At risk zero, we're obviously really excited about this idea. Like this is a pretty new and innovative take on how to think about scaling specifically for applications, but also roll ups. Um, to accomplish this, we've built a ZK virtual machine which enables anyone to build their own ZK programs in 100% native Rust. And because of that, you like no longer need like a math PhD and like three cryptographers to build a ZK circuit. You can just write everything in Rust with your existing developer team. Separately, we've also built this coprocessor foundry template. And this template specifically targets that new use case I mentioned before. And the real important thing here is you can basically build the scaling architecture with just three files. Um, your existing Ethereum smart contracts, your existing application smart contracts, the new Rust-based CKVM logic, which is where you offload all of your um, gas-heavy computes, and a Rust-based serialization file, which basically connects things up. Although we're gonna abstract that away in the coming months. Um, what this means principally also is that developers can build a coprocessor with just two files. So extremely accessible, and the files themselves are Rust and Solidity, so something that the majority of developers in our ecosystem can build with. We also see this like in practice um, at Risk Zero. We are actively working with a lot of exciting partners, including Arbitrum, um, Optimism, Altlayer. In this case, we're specifically targeting them more like traditional ZK rollups, right? Um, either in the fraud proof correction or in the full ZK validity proof correction. In this case, uh, the, compute, the computation is still offloaded to the rollup where it's converted into a block um, proven in ZK and then verified on Ethereum. But there's also this new idea of um, modular blockchains, right? Um, in this case, companies like Citrea, which is building a Bitcoin-based ZK rollup. Uh, Layer N is building a DeFi native ZK rollup. And then Eclipse is obviously building an SVM uh, Layer 2 on Ethereum. All these companies are actually using our ZKVM. Um, as a core, like ZK power, the core ZK circuit that powers their rollup logic. Um, and as I mentioned before, like basically they can run any sort of VM. Um, they can be really flexible in how they prove state and how they store their state, and also really flexible in where they verify their proofs. Future of coprocessors that we're thinking of is one where we'll have multi chain verification for any sort of ZK proof. Subsequently, you can use any chain for settlements, whether it's Ethereum, Bitcoin, Solana, Optimism, uh, something based on Cos Cosmos. Um, we really want to basically enable anyone to build ZK coprocessors on any chain. Um, additionally, improved ZK performance is a really big focus of ours. And improving performance means we can improve more things and do more things. Um, there's a lot of advanced DeFi primitives, even some AI primitives that we haven't been able to tap into yet and all of that will be enabled by better ZK performance. And the eventual, eventual goal here is really opening up the variety of modular components that rollups can utilize to build um, their stack. So this is kind of like the interconnected like ZK powered future we're thinking about. One where Risk Zero acts as this multi-chain ZK layer that is bringing ZK scaling to any chain. One where any chain can take advantage of like the ZK coprocessor. And also like the dream is that this will eventually include Web2 tech, Web2 data in the future as well. We're actively working with quite a few partners in both like the government space, the identity space, and healthcare. Um, that it will basically enable us to connect a lot of those verticals back into Web3.
And in conclusion, um, yeah, there's a lot of really exciting architectures and uh, revolutionary projects that are being built and will be launching over the coming months. Um, kind of how I want to think about this is five years ago, we had this idea of monolithic blockchains. Uh, three years ago, we had this idea of modular blockchains. Now, since we're actually abstracting away the idea of a blockchain, we might as well think of it as modular scaling. So, yeah, that's all.